Welcome to the video about our journey to Istanbul by train. Our first train takes us from Gothenburg, our beginning destination, to Copenhagen. Unfortunately, the train didn't go all the way. Instead, it ended at Malmö due to a So, what do you think of the current situation? Oh, I think we should have gone by plane. <laughs> and what does the train man have to say about this? <laughs> it's pretty annoying, really, because that train was going nicely. And, uh, and we've just got stuck here. <laughs> After the alleged technical fault of the previous train, we did manage to get onto a new train, Örestensdorg, to Copenhagen. And uh, we didn't stay very long in Copenhagen, as we soon had to catch the next train, which was ICE to Hamburg. The train was comfortable and pleasant, and took us on a boat, which would go from Robby to Puttgart. We soon after got, got back on the train and um, arrived at Hamburg. Hamburg, we uh, ate tea vet, but our train was delayed. Our next train to take us to Munich. So I uh, had some fun filming some birds instead, which was uh, very interesting. Hello. Hello. So what has happened currently? Um, basically, our train has been delayed by 45 minutes. Minutes. Yeah, minutes. It's been delayed by 45 minutes. Yeah. Well, how does that make you feel? Um, a bit annoyed. <laughs> cool. Yep. Eventually, however, our train arrived and we were soon on our way to Munich, happy as ever. But it didn't go to Munich. The train driver decided, um, due to German efficiency, that he would not go to Munich. He would instead go to Augsburg and uh, dump us there. Eventually, we did manage to get on the commuter train to Munich, which was quite full, but it was all right. We eventually got to Munich, which was a very nice city. At the town hall in Munich, they have this out of tune ceremony every day at 12 o'clock. In Munich, one could see wines, one could see escalators, and one could see various beautiful waterfalls, and also people swimming where it was not allowed. But an amazing thing you could see is people surfing right in the centre of Munich. Which was pretty. This train would take us from Munich to Zagreb, which was going to be our next destination on our journey. So we are currently on the train. Um, we just passed the Slovenia and Croatian, Croatian border control. Um, and this is on the train from Munich to Croatia. We then arrived at um, Zagreb station, which was a very pretty view from outside. We soon visited the market, which was flourishing with many fruits and vegetables and saw some traditional Macedonian dances. Then we went to the Zago by and we could see the trams from up in the sky. Yeah. Our next not so nice train would take us from Zagreb to Belgrade in Serbia. Okay, hello Katie, hello. would you care to explain the seating arrangements <laughs> on this train? Well I can't really work out the logic behind it <laughs> but I can uh, tell you some of the patterns that are in it. Okay. So um, they don't seem to have any lines whatsoever and every other row is um, odd, so it goes odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. And eat every two rows is a new number, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. And <laughs> the <laughs> row furthest to the right, every other end number is five, so five slash six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. Straightforward enough. Quite straightforward. Um, other than that, well, then you then you have these things which keep coming back. So, one three seven five. Skip two when you get one three seven five. But then if you skip two again, you don't get the same pattern. You have to skip four this time. But then you skip two and then you get back to this one. This one is not following any pattern because otherwise it could be one two one two one two. And you're always adding five, uh, four to get to from the left window seat to the right window seat, except in that pattern. So That's this is the thing. That if you switched fifty one and thirty three, then all the patterns would fit. Your pattern would be adding four would fit. Um, the one two one two one two the three eight three eight three eight three eight. Soon after deciphering the uh, complicated numbering system of a train, we arrived in 
Belgrade. The station was not so nice, but when we finally ventured into the city, we realised that it was actually quite a nice city, much better than one would expect. We went up onto the Belgrade fortress and we saw a wonderful sunset, something absolutely majestical. Tea, we ate a quote-unquote Serbian traditional meal, um, where they played lots of music, and um, we ventured into the park for the lunch for the next day, which was very nice. Then we went up a nice, very high tower, the highest in Belgrade, which was a church, it wasn't actually like quite high. So. Saw some nice houses. And soon after, we were on a very, very strange trip to Sofia in Bulgaria. After going along for about 20 minutes, our train just stopped at a desolate station in the middle of the night and in an extremely warm and probably quite unsafe trip. And then there seems to be a red light behind us as well. So like there's no going forwards and there's no going backwards. We're just going to do a brief on the security here on this trip. <laughs> so as you can see, you're very well strapped in. All you have to do is attach this. Oops. You need to attach that here. See? It's very, very secure. Like you can just wriggle about at night. And, oh, it does actually stay. Oh. No worries, no worries. No worries, no worries. And 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 it's fine if you're here too. You just like fasten. It doesn't look like something you'd want to sleep on. Well, I mean, I Actually, we were able to move again because a large goods train finally passed after about 40 minutes. A little person came up and showed a green light at the train driver, meaning we would be able to move again, which was uh, quite good since we would actually get some air as it was boiling hot in there. We moved it about two kilometers an hour for the rest of the way, but at least some air would come into our cabin. Eventually we arrived, alive, in Sofia in Bulgaria, which was a surprisingly fairly nice city, but it was also very strange. The station was not nice at all, but and we got scammed by a local man. But um, here we can see the National Palace of Culture, which shows some of a grand architecture there, but um, yet it is still developing as a country. We finally got on the bus to um, Turkey, uh, as the train service had been cancelled uh, due to them um, building a high-speed line. After our most uncomfortable bus journey, we have finally arrived in Turkey, which was a very nice country. That's a very nice city of Istanbul, which we were in. We saw some nice mosques, we saw the Basilica system, and everybody was photographing Medusa's head, a pillar, part of a pillar to the Basilica system. The Basilica system was very nice, where we used to store water in the... Uh, Ottoman Empire. Um, we then went to Asia, which is very similar to Europe, but it has a lot more commuters. And um, then we went on a nostalgic tram, which was a very nice tram, and we saw the Taksim Square and some mosques. And that was the end of a journey. It was a very interesting journey. We learned a lot about different types of trains, different types of places. Most of all, I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope to see you again.